Hey guys, today Tammy and I are gonna be trying these um, break and bake. This is the Barista Baking Company break and bake scones. Uh, this one is the chocolate cherry with vanilla flavored icing packet. And this one is the blueberry with lemon flavored icing packet. So you can see that. Mm, there we go. Uh, there are eight in each package and you're, they're in the refrigerated section where the cookies, the break apart cookies are. So that's, uh, that's where you find these. Um, calorie information was, it's not good to focus. I know Tammy took a picture, but um, the blueberry one is 200 calories each, and this one is um, 190 each. Yeah. So, what you do with these is you um, heat your oven to 350, and these can be frozen two months for two months if you want to keep them for a long time or just use them by. The use by date, so that's that's fine. So preach oven to 350. We're gonna break the scones along the pre-scored lines and place them two inches apart on an ungreased baking sheet. I have a baking sheet over here with parchment paper on it. So um, they're gonna bake for 13 to 18 minutes. Um, same thing for both of them, and um, I'll probably do 15. Um, and then you don't let them overcook. Um, remove from the oven. Do not bake the icing packet. I think that's pretty funny. And then um, drizzle the icing on there after they've cooled off just a little bit. It says warm, so you don't want them to cool off too much. So let's see what these look like. See if I can open them. I get a pair of scissors. Uh, we bought these at Walmart. They were three twenty-four each, so um, not too off the bat for eight. I mean, you do get eight. That's not too bad. Okay, there's your icing packet, and it really looks like it's made to uh, make all at one time because you get one icing packet. But um, you know, we're not gonna make them all. So there's what they look like unbaked for the blueberry. I'm just gonna grab one. Okay, so I'm gonna get these in the oven for, I'll check them at 13 minutes, but then I'll, it'll probably end up being 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna get these in the oven. I'll be back when they come out. So this is how they look when they come out of the oven. And I have my lemon here first, and I'm just gonna tear it here. And this is the uh, blueberry. So I'm gonna just drizzle it over the blueberry. Wow, that's a lot. Is this for the whole package or yes, just for? Yes, it's the whole package. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, you have seven more that has the last four. Oh, I didn't know. That's I okay. thought, okay. I did not know. I didn't. I was not in here when Kevin opened this, so I did not know. And then Kevin said he would rather me put the icing on. <laughs> I think we should try the chocolate first. Because the lemon. Yes. They look good. They had big hunks of chocolate in there. Tammy didn't get to see what it looked like, but they there's huge hunks of chocolate in there. Tastes like chocolate cake. It does taste chocolate like chocolate puffin. cake. It tastes like a, a chocolate cake, and when you get a bite without the frosting, it's just like an unfrosted, unfrosted chocolate cake. But um, it is good. But I will tell you right now that we had another brand. I don't know if it was Pillsbury, um, and I loved them. I, I, and I actually like that better than this. This is really good. It does taste like chocolate cake. It is it good. good. It's the, not very sweet though. Mm -mm. Even with the frosting, it's not sweet. That's my problem with it. It's, it's not sweet enough for me, but that's just me. Yeah. I like very sweet things. So now we have the um, blueberry, blueberry and lemon. And lemon. That lemon, 
is a kick of lemon. <laughs> it's very, very strong lemon. I like it. It tastes like a blueberry muffin with some lemon frosting on top. I like that. It's 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 not um, as dry as a chocolate one was. It's just not for me. Um, not your favorite. Huh? No, <coughs> because the other brand paired blueberry, and I know they're trying to be different, but the other one paired the blueberry with just regular um, vanilla frost, vanilla icing. I would rather have vanilla icing. I would rather not have. I don't like the lemon. Yeah, mm. I, and I see. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did not like the lemon at all. So for me, the lemon ruined a perfectly good blueberry scone. Uh, the chocolate, I really, I, I like the chocolate. It's like chocolate cake, but it's it's very very plain unless you get some of that icing. I agree. I'd rather just have a muffin. If you're gonna eat it, I'd just. I mean, if you're gonna have these, compare. If I was to have this or a muffin, I'd rather have a muffin. Mm -hmm. Like a blueberry muffin or a chocolate muffin. Now, I love that brand that we had before, and if I remember it, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but I love the one that we had before. I just, um, this just isn't for me. I know what it was. It was a uh, farm, something farm. Like, it wasn't Hillshire Farm, I don't think. Anyway, I really like those. So, uh, these, I just, they're not for me. I would not get them again. Um... If you like chocolate cake, though, you might very well like these. And if you like the combination of blueberry and lemon, you might really like these. Just know that the lemon is very, very lemony. Yeah, I liked it. I like the blueberry. Yeah, so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed the review and getting to see them. And thanks for watching.